You think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. Soldier Boy, the original superhero, is the OG. Soldier Boy was in a group called Payback, which is like the original Seven. Well, a bunch of wingers. He's been locked away in a cryogenic chamber for dozens of years, presumed dead, and gets resurrected. Soldier Boy's back, and he's going to do God knows what. Homelander is basically Soldier Boy 2.0. He's an incarnation of the same beast. These two characters are the most evil characters we've ever seen. And they threaten each other as the alpha male. I think it was, to use a big boy word, his cantankerousness. I kind of twinkled that. You can act hysterical. I'm going to slap you like I'm Connery. I'm like, that's going to be fun. I warned you. Props to Jensen. He's an amazing performer. He's giving. He listens. His ideas are great. He just fit in perfectly with the cast. It's a really difficult thing going into a show that's already established. It's a testament to who Jensen is. He's just a class act, man. He's been a terrible influence on everyone in the best way. He brings a lighter air to set, which I think is really important when we're dealing with things that are just about blood and guts and death. Jensen really brought an A-game, and I think actually really helped raise the level of everybody that he was working with. They've been incredibly welcoming. I didn't have to overly prove myself. Everybody I think here was like, oh, he's probably as messed up in the head as we are. And they're right. So just to recap, he's radioactive, highly traumatized, and heavily self-medicated. Feels good, feels right. <laughs>